Our good friend, wildlife expert, Corbin Maxey. He's the host of the Animals to the Max podcast. And he's at his home in Marzing, Idaho, with some amazing animals from his neck of the woods. Okay, so grab your little ones. Get everybody around the couch, because we are going to do a quick lesson in the life of a farm. Hi, Corbin. Corbin, hello. Hey, how's it going, ladies? Hey, guys, it's good to see you. So I, we kind of have an idea of what kind of animals <laughs> we're going to see. You've got a cow there. We have a cow, and her name is Darcy, and she's a dairy cow, and she's four years old. And listen to this. She's 1,300 pounds. Wow. Whoa. And so she's a dairy cow. Does she make dairy on your farm? How much milk does that cow produce? Yeah, so this is her breed is a Holstein breed of dairy cow. So this is the highest producing dairy animal in the world. So one cow like Darcy, when she's producing milk, can actually produce seven to nine gallons of milk a day. And that's 128 glasses of milk. Seven to nine gallons. So does she have to drink? Seven to nine gallons. What does she eat and drink all day? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you asked that. So a cow like Darcy will drink a bathtub full of water a day. That's how much they drink. So 30 to 50 gallons of water to stay hydrated. And she also eats nutritious hay and that helps with milk production. And this is her owner, Mila, by the way. Aww. And Mila is from Stork's Place Mini Farms in Marcy, Idaho. And this is a famous cow lady. She has won grand champion for showmanship for three years in a row at the Owyhee County Fair. Well, you can tell awesome. why, thank you. Okay, so, so people tend to confuse llamas with alpacas. Sure, so we're gonna go to the next ones. Yeah, so I'm gonna introduce to you my friend, you guys, this is, look at this. This right here oh, is, this is an alpaca. This is Pierre. Everyone say, hi, Pierre. Is he French? Hi, Pierre. Hi, Pierre. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's actually from South America. So people do confuse alpacas and llamas, and they're actually different animals. So uh, they're in the same family, actually the same family as camels, but alpacas like Pierre are a lot smaller than llamas. They'll only get to be like 150 pounds, where llamas will get bigger up to four hundred pounds. Wow. Well, llamas have the book called yeah. Llama Llama Red Pajama, so we need to get something going with this alpaca. Yes, I know. Corbin, you need to write a book, alpaca, alpaca, <laughs> red, I'm working spacula. on it. I'm I'm seriously, I'm working on it. And you know, the crazy thing is that these guys were actually domesticated 6,000 years ago in South America, and it's because of their fine fiber or fleece. And so it keeps people nice and warm in the Andes Mountains, and they're actually still bred and domesticated for that. So, hi, Pierre, you're doing okay, so well, good. thank you, Pierre. Now, what about- Awesome, thank you, Pierre. Bye. So this is crazy. So, ladies, this is the most okay. dangerous animal I have, okay? Okay. This right here, and this is a lot, here we go, oh, yeah. is, check this out. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. This is an alligator snapping turtle. Wow. And his... His name is Happy. And you guys, this is what this is like my favorite turtle in the world. This is the largest freshwater turtle in the world. So Happy's only 50 pounds. They can get to be 200 pounds. Oh my wow. gosh. So is Happy a baby? No, so Happy's actually 30 years old, but these guys uh, will just continue to grow throughout their lives. And I actually wanna show you guys something. I hope my camera, guy, my camera guy doesn't get bit, but take a look. They're the only turtle that has a worm-like tongue. So they love to go fishing. So they'll sit at the bottom of a pond or a lake and they'll wiggle that tongue to attract fish. Wow. And these guys are found in the South. Yeah, they're found in the southeastern parts of the United States. And don't worry, a turtle like this does not look at us as food. If you're swimming in a swamp, they're not going to bite your toes or anything. Okay. Um, all right. Why is his mouth open like that? <laughs> so they do. So that is a defense mechanism. Oh. And this alligator snapping turtle has a lot of bite force. So guess what would happen if I put my fingers in his mouth? Huh. Well, it, they'd probably come off. Uh, okay. There's over oh. 1,000 pounds of pressure in that bite, mm. but it's only a defense mechanism, okay. and snapping turtles will leave you alone if you leave them alone, and I'm a trained professional. I've been working with Happy for several okay. years. Oh, you're such All a good... Right. Oh, ladies, you're going to love this fact. It's okay. the only snapping turtle that has eyelashes. Oh, Check those out. Oh, sweet. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put Happy All back right. and bring our seconds. grand finale. Yes. Okay, okay here we go. Grand so, finales. Here we go. So come on. So over here, this right oh, here wow. is, thank you, mom. This is Shere Khan. And Shere Khan is my 13 foot 
albino Burmese python. And ladies, this was the first one of the first snakes I ever rescued and the first snake I ever took on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno at the age of 14 oh years old. Oh my gosh. gosh. Isn't that amazing? Look at you there back in the day. And oh, that's Corbin. the exact snake? The exact snake. So he's educated millions of people yeah. about responsible pet ownership. And I'm so happy he's finally on the Today Show. Yes. And it's We've been just absolutely him. incredible. Corbin, yeah, thank, so thank, he's you, Corbin, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, hon. Thank you so much. I miss you guys. We miss, miss you, you too, too, Corbin. Bye, honey.